Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, the Gim here, and in this video I'm going to show you how UI gradient works in your GUIs. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is make your GUI. So I'm just going to quickly insert screen GUI and then I'm going to insert a frame inside that screen GUI. And I'm just going to put it in the centre of the screen by setting the anchor point to 0.5.5. So put it in the middle of the screen. But you won't be able to see it in the middle of the screen yet because you need to set the position. So if this is how you're going to put your GUI in the middle of your screen. So I put it in the middle on the X axis. X axis. And I'm going to put it in the middle on the Y axis as well. Like that. So now it's in the middle. And I'm going to change the size as well. I don't want offset, I want it so it scales to the, um, to the right size on every device. So every device can see the GUI properly. Mm. 2.5. So it takes a path to speed. 1.5, like that. So it takes up half the screen on the x-axis and the y-axis. So, so if you want to make your GUI colourful, like if you go into a game, then you see like a colourful GUI, and you're wondering how how on earth they make the GUI look like that. They use UI gradient. So if you click on the plus, then search up UI gradient. Yep, click that. So it should be white to start off with. So if you click on it, and you click on this, and then you get this, you get this um, window thing appear up on the screen. So you need to set the point in the GY where you want that colour to be. So this is at the start, and I'm wanting the start colour to be red, like that. And then you see that it's red. So if we move that the way. See look, it's red on the left side and then it starts to fade into a white. Then select another place, so like here, then click on it, so then it, the triangle turns yellow. Click on it and then give it a different colour. So blue, so it goes from red to blue to white and then you can move this along, move it along like that. And then as you can see, it fades from like a red into like a purple then it goes into a blue because if you didn't know that if you add red and blue together it makes purple and then you can add as many as you like so I'm just going to move this back a bit move this forward move this back and then I'm going to make a different colour I'm going to make orange just like this just like that and that's you can make like a rainbow GUI if you like. And also you can even roundify this. So I have this plugin called UI Design. And then you can set your roundify. Um, so just roundify it. And that's what it looks like when it's roundified. So that's what it may look like in a um, proper Roblox game. It might look like it has round ed edges. So I'll leave a link to the roundify plugin in the description called UI design and uh, you can get the UI design light where you can um, do this while well, it's in the corner can't really drag it down um, you get the light version which is free but then you can get the paid version which you can get more items in it so I'll leave a link to both of them in the description if you want to pay robux for the proper one or the UI design light is free so this is just going to be a short tutorial, so if you did enjoy and you want to see more, then make sure you like, subscribe and turn the bell to be notified when another video comes out. Also make sure you leave video suggestions in the comment section down below to get a shout in one of my videos. So this is going to be it for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!